So this is an Apollo guidance computer. Um, this would have replaced half a room full of uh, vacuum tubes and other computer equipment. They miniaturized it and they put um, a, ser a whole series of mathematical functions into these little hermetically sealed um, uh, modules. So each one would do some particular part of navigational math. Um, when you had all of the modules installed, it was enough to get the Apollo spacecraft from the Earth to the moon and back again. So, so that's solid state? This is solid. Each one of these is maybe 20 transistors, each one of those individual modules. So altogether, somewhere between 2,000 and 4,000 transistors, whereas your, uh, your cell phone has billions and billions of transistors. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is you know, under 5,000 for sure. Okay. Um, this one did not actually go into outer space. It was used as a test bed here on the ground, but some of the modules that we think, we're not sure exactly which ones, some of them we think went up on Apollo 14. So there'd be one of these computers on the command module and another one on the, LAM, on the LEM, on the lunar excursion module. Um, and you needed these to do the calculations so that you could get the, so you could have the, the LEM land uh, but also so that you could have the two um, rendezvous. Without this, the astronauts can't get to the moon and they can't get back. Okay. So this would also do the calculation for aerobraking. So aerobraking is the maneuver when the command module is coming back from the moon. It's going like 25,000 uh, miles an hour. It hits the Earth's atmosphere at a special angle so that it can bleed off speed. Because if it goes straight in, it'll burn up. So it bleeds off speed, skips, like skipping a rock on a lake, like, like, a, like tossing a stone. And when it comes down the second time, it's only going at about 17,000 miles an hour. And then it very precisely sets an angle so that it comes down through the atmosphere and lands near a recovery ship. So if, it, if the angle is too sharp, it burns up. If it's too shallow, the spacecraft will bounce off the Earth's atmosphere and go into outer space, never to be seen again. So you, you get one shot and you have to get it right. Um, but this is the uh, computer that would do the calculation. Okay. That would set the angle. Hi, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel. For more exclusive content about this museum, check in the description below where you will find the YouTube channel of the museum. Better yet, if you're in the area, go check out the museum. It's one thing to see it on YouTube. It's another thing to see in person. Thanks for watching.